What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. In today's video I have fantastic news for those of you waiting for Troll Store 2. It was just released a couple of minutes ago. So yes, Troll Store 2 is now out with support ranging from iOS 15.5 all the way up to iOS 17. We're gonna talk about that in a few seconds. This video is brought to you by any unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So just a couple of minutes ago Opa334 posted this quote, Troll Store 2 is now out. Installation methods and more info will follow soon. So it says it supports iOS 15.5 all the way up to iOS 16.6.1 and it also supports iOS 17.0. For ARM 64E devices, so A12 plus devices, that are not supported by the KFD exploit, there's currently no installation method. So the version 2.0 is now available here on GitHub on Troll Store. I have a full article detailing everything about this new version, containing everything about what it is and what iOS version versions are supported, what you should do if you're on different iOS versions, including the download links and stuff like that. So this is now out and it says it adds support for those iOS versions, but it says in here note that not all devices and versions have an installation method. KFD devices will get one shortly by Misaka. So why is this important? Well Misaka works on all devices, including A12+. Plus. This is not for some dinosaur devices like iPhone 10 and 8 and stuff. This does work on modern new devices like iPhone 11, 12, 13. 14 whatever. So soon you will get the option to install Troll Store 2 through Misaka which uses the KFD exploit. The KFD exploit works all the way up to iOS 16.5 and even iOS 16.6 beta 1. So if you have a newer device you will be able to install Troll Store 2 on iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 16.5 and iOS 16.6 beta 1. So anything that Misaka supports Troll Store will support as well because you have an installation method. For the rest of iOS versions on the newer devices you will need to wait for an installation method but troll store was released because troll store uses a core trust bug. I detailed the core trust or empty bug that is being used in troll store here in this article so I would definitely advise you to go ahead and give it a read because it should contain a lot of information about how this works and why it could be done. But yes in order for troll store to be installed you need two different bugs to happen. At first you need a core trust bug to make troll store possible and then you need an installation method, a kernel exploit for example, to be able to install the application itself that is troll store to get it started. So for some iOS versions we have the first one, the core trust bug which is very rare, very hard to get, but we don't have a kernel exploit yet. We do have a kernel exploit for iOS 16.5 and lower and also we have one for iOS 16.6 beta 1. So if you have any of these iOS versions on any device, you will be able to install Troll Store 2 very very soon once Misaka gets updated. Now Opa also posted this in here, quote, I have confirmed via Corellium that TXM and SPTM have no effect on the core trust bug used in Troll Store, so once there is an installed method, A15 through A17 on iOS 17 can also be supported, which is definitely great, it means you will be able to get this even on iOS 17.0 on your iPhone 15. Pretty nice. Opa also said this, Everyone can update to Troll Store 2. The new Core Trust bypass used should have no downsides and supports all previously supported versions as well. Obviously, only newly installed applications will use the new bypass, but it doesn't matter. Previous installed apps will still work. So you should definitely go ahead and update to Troll Store 2. And yeah, for those of you who do not know, Troll Store 2 basically allows you to install applications permanently. You don't have to resign them ever again. You don't have to worry about them expiring every seven days. Once you install any IPA, any application, it stays on your device forever until you delete it. No revokes, no certifications, no validation, nothing like that. As if you install it with AppSync, but it does persist after a reboot. Anyway, if you want a tutorial on how to use Troll Store 2, how to install it, let me know and I will make one in the next video. Thank you for watching, I am Geo Snow. till the next time, peace out.